love the chase and the hunt And I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend of me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything Hello, lovelies. Good to see you guys. All right, let me go in here and say hi to everybody. Hello, Teresa. Good to see you again. I hope you're doing well. Miss Gina, good to see you. I hope you're doing good. Miss Sunshine, good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Nani, hope you're feeling better, honey. Good to see you. Hello, Denise. Welcome, honey. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming in here and Showing some support and love. Tootsie's Pop. Welcome. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Hello, Juju Bones. Good to see you, honey. Hope you're doing good. Thank you guys so much for being in here. Make sure y'all smash that like, share, and subscribe if y'all haven't done so. Tonight is a topic. We do a couple to topics a week for the new people that are in here or family members that are in here. We consider everybody family that comes in here. 
Um, but um, we have we have topics during the week, a couple topics during the week that is like mental health, encouragement, um, positivity. We just cover different things. And then we have karaoke on the weekends every Friday, every Saturday night at 1030 p.m. Eastern. So tonight is a topic night. And tonight we are covering social anxiety disorder or social phobia. Tonight we're going to be talking about social anxiety. Do you suffer with this type of anxiety? If so, what do you do to cope? All right, guys, let me get up my information. I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see it. Okay. All right. Hold on just a second. Heck on it. Hold on, guys. Give me a minute. There we go. I'm trying to make a bigger screen, guys. All right. I know you probably can't see me in the corner. Hold on a minute. Let me see if I can fix it. Sorry about that. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> social anxiety disorder or social phobia. I know a lot of people um, suffer with this, unfortunately. So I just want to bring support and awareness to this. All right. O overview. It's normal to feel nervous in some si social situations. For example, going on a date or giving a presentation may cause that feeling of butterflies in your stomach. But in, social, but in social anxiety disorder, also called social phobia, everyday interactions cause significant anxiety, self-consciousness, and embarrassment because you fear being scrutinized or judged negatively by others. In social anxiety disorder, fear and anxiety lead to avoidance that can disrupt your life. Severe stress can affect your relationships, daily routines work, school, and other activities. Social anxiety disorder can be a chronic mental health condition, but learning coping skills in psychotherapy and taking medications can help you gain confidence and improve your ability to interact with others. This is the symptoms of um, social anxiety disorder. Feelings of shyness or discomfort in certain situations aren't necessarily signs of social anxiety disorder, particularly in children. Comfort levels in social situations vary depending on personality traits and life experiences. Some people are naturally reserved and others are more outgoing. In contrast to everyday nervousness, social anxiety disorder includes fear, anxiety, and avoidance that interfere with relationships, daily routines, work, school, or other activities. Social anxiety disorder typically begins in the early to mid-teens, though it can sometimes start in younger children or in adults. Emotional and behavior symptoms. Signs and symptoms of social anxiety disorder can include constant fear of situations in which you may be judged negatively, worry about embarrassing or humiliating yourself, intense fear of interacting or talking with strangers, fear that others will notice that you look anxious, fear of physical symptoms that may cause you embarrassment such as blushing, sweating, trembling, or having a shaky voice, avoidance of doing things or speaking to people out of fear of embarrassment. Avoidance of situations where you might be the center of attention. Anxiety and anticipation of feared activity or event. Intense fear or anxiety during social situations. Analysts of your performance and identification of flaws in your interactions after a social situation. Expectations of the worst possible consequences from a negative experience during a social situation. Hello, Mary Jane. Good to see you, love. I hope you're doing well, honey. For children, anxiety about interacting with adults or peers may be shown by crying, having temper tantrums, clinging to parents, or refusing to speak in social situations. Performance type of social anxiety disorder is when you experience intense fear and anxiety during speaking or performing in public, but not in other types of more general social situations. 
physical symptoms of the social anxiety disorder. Physical signs and symptoms can sometimes accompany social anxiety disorder and may include blushing, fast heartbeat, trembling, sweating, upset stomach or nausea, trouble catching your breath, dizziness or lightheadedness, feeling that your mind has gone blank, muscle tension. Avoid common social situations. Common everyday experiences may be hard to endure when you have social anxiety disorder, including interacting with unfamiliar people or strangers, attending parties or social gatherings, going to work or school, starting conversations, making eye contact, dating, entering a room in which people are already seated, returning items to a store, (coughs) eating in front of others, using a public restroom. Social anxiety disorder symptoms can change over time. They may flare up if you're facing a lot of changes, stress, or demand in your life. Although avoiding situations that produce anxiety may make you feel better in the short term, your anxiety is likely to continue over the long term if you don't get treatment. When to see a doctor. See your doctor or mental health professional if you fear and avoid normal social situations because they cause embarrassment, worry, or panic. Causes. Like many other mental health conditions, social anxiety disorder likely arises from a complex interaction of biological and environmental factors. Possible causes include inherited traits. Anxiety disorders tend to run in families. However, it isn't entirely clear how much of this may be due to genetics and how much is due to learned behavior. Brain structure. A structure in the brain called an amygdala amygdala may play a role in controlling the fear response. People who have an overactive amygdala may have a heightened fear response, causing increased anxiety in social situations. Environment. Social anxiety disorder may be learned behavior. Some people may develop a significant anxiety after an unpleasant or embarrassment. Embarrassing social situation. Also, there may be an association between social anxiety disorder and parents who enter model anxious behavior in social situations or are more controlling or overprotective over their children. Risk factors. Several factors can increase the risk of developing social anxiety disorder, including family history. You're more likely to develop social anxiety disorder if your biological parents or siblings have the condition. Negative experiences. Children who experience teasing, bullying, rejection, ridicule, or humiliation may be more prone to social anxiety disorder. In addition, other negative events in life, such as family conflict, trauma, or abuse, may be associated with this disorder. Temperament. Children who are shy, timid, withdrawn, or restrained with facing new situations or people may be at a greater risk. New social or work demands. Social anxiety disorder symptoms typically start in the teenage years, but meeting new people, giving a speech in public, or making an important work presentation may trigger symptoms for the first time. Having an appearance or condition that draws attention. For example, facial disfigurement, stuttering, or tremors due to Parkinson's disease can increase feelings of self-consciousness and may trigger social anxiety disorder in some people. Complications left untreated social anxiety disorder can control your life. Anxieties can interfere with work, school, relationships, or enjoyment of life. This disorder can cause low self-esteem, trouble being assertive, negative self-talk, hypersensitivity to criticism, poor social skills, isolation and difficult social relationships, Sorry, guys. Hmm. Low academic and employment achievement. Substance abuse, such as drinking too much alcohol. Unalive or unalive attempts. Other anxiety disorders and certain other mental health disorders, particularly major depressive disorder and substance abuse problems, often occur with social anxiety disorder. 
prevention. There's no way to predict what will cause someone to develop an anxiety disorder, but you can take steps to reduce the impact of symptoms if you're anxious. Get help early. Anxiety, like many other mental health conditions, can be harder to treat if you wait. Keep a journal. Keeping track of your personal life can help you and your mental health professional identify what's causing you stress and what seems to help you feel better. Set priorities in your life. You can reduce anxiety by carefully managing your time and energy. Make sure that you spend time doing things you enjoy. Avoid unhealthy substance use. Alcohol or drugs use and even caffeine or nicotine can cause or worsen anxiety. If you're addicted to any of these substances, quitting can make you anxious. If you quit now on your own, see your health care provider or find a treatment program or support group to help you. All right, guys, let's go to the next one. Sorry if y'all are hearing James in the background coughing. He's, he's got the croup cough right now, and it's pretty bad, so... Let me get this a little bit bigger. There we go. All right. Social anxiety. What is the difference between social anxiety and social phobia? Social anxiety and social phobia are often used interchangeably, but there is some distinction between social anxiety and social phobia. Specifically in the situations that trigger stress responses, social phobia refers to the fear of being scrutinized or judged while performing some type of task in public, while social anxiety describes feelings of intense nervousness and self-consciousness that sufferers experience during one-on-one -on -one meetings or group social gatherings. The symptoms of both are now included under the umbrella of social anxiety disorder, which is the official diagnosis for people who suffer from excess social anxiety in a broad variety of situations. Social anxiety disorder is a condition that affects 15 million men and women, which represents about 7% of the adult population in the United States. Millions of children and adolescents also suffer from severe social anxiety symptoms since the disorder tends to develop at relative, relatively young ages. The average age of the onset is 13. Dis, despite its ubiquity, it's not until 1994 that the term social anxiety disorder was mentioned in the official medical li literature in the American Psychological Association's Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, 4th edition, also known as DSM-IV. Before that, the only clinical diagnosable form of it, social anxiety was known as social phobia, and even that was only mentioned for the first time in DSM-3, which was published in 1980. What is social phobia? Even though social phobia is now primarily as an altern alternate term for social anxiety disorder, there are distinctions between social phobia and social anxiety, which were frequently discussed in mental health literature in the past. Social phobia is actually a specialized condition that affects people somewhat differently than social anxiety. Hello, Mama Bear. Good to see you, love. I hope you're doing well, honey. When the American Psychiatric Association chose to list social phobia as an actual disorder in its official diagnostic manual, the term was not seen as synonymous with social anxiety. Social phobia as a medical Disorder referred specifically to extreme fears of performing some type of activity in public where others were free to observe or comment. Some of the activities that can provoke distress and social phobia suffer sufferers include making presentations at work, eating in crowded re restaurants, using public restrooms, taking public transportation, signing their name in public settings, banks, groceries, etc., grocery stores, exercising in gyms or outdoors in areas where people are present, public speaking, artistic performances, playing a musical instrument, singing or acting in a community theater, presentation, etc. 
Social phobia develops out of excessive self-consciousness combined with a lack of confidence and shaky self-esteem. People with social phobia are afraid of making a mistake while in the spotlight, fearing harsh and catastrophic judgments if they do so. Their fear of embarrassment in such situations is off the charts and difficult to manage. The difference between social anxiety and social phobia. When social anxiety disorder will replace social phobia as a category for diagnosis, it incorporated the symptoms of both social anxiety and social phobia under its broad diagnostic umbrella. Nevertheless, there's a difference between social anxiety and social phobia. The former refers to the fear and anxiety experienced before and during conversations. Hello, Gina! And other... direct social interactions, while the latter covers fears and insecurities connected to public performance. What social anxiety sufferers experienced during a broad range of social encounters was previously defined as social interaction anxiety. It was known that men and women with social phobia often suffered from anxiety when they encountered strangers or casual acquaintances. But this was not recognized as a clinically diagnosable disorder until the changes in the DSM in 1994. The lesser status formerly afforded social anxiety was unfortunate. For most social anxiety disorder sufferers, their problems with direct socializing and communication are more serious and life-limiting than their social phobia, when often occurs in situations that can't be avoided without significant life consequences. Feeling uncomfortable and anxious during work meetings is is not pleasant, but being too intimidated to even interview for a job is far more serious, and that is exactly what happens to many social anxiety sufferers because of their fear of interacting with authority figures. Social anxiety also interferes with the ability to make friends or pursue romantic relationships, which is perhaps the most severe and depressing consequence for social anxiety disorder sufferers who don't get help for their conditions. The physical, emotional, and behavior symptoms of social phobia and social anxiety. Hold on just a second, guys. Whatever distinctions may exist between social phobia and social anxiety, both produce the same types of physical, emotional, and behavior symptoms. (coughs) And within the same range of severity, physical symptoms. Social anxiety symptoms are often compared to the fight or flight response where the body mobilizes rapidly to escape from danger. From the perspective of those on social anxiety spectrum, being exposed, scorned, or rejected based on poor social or public performance is a catastrophic event. That is why people with severe social phobia and or social anxiety react so strongly to situations that others handle with little or no nervousness or self-consciousness. The distinctive physical symptoms of social anxiety and social phobia are consistent with mild to severe panic attack and may include dizziness, sweating, but also shivering as if cold, blushing, racing heartbeat, constricted breathing, muscle tension in face and neck, stomach cramps or pains, rapid or stumbling speech, mental blocks that make it hard to think or absorb information. These symptoms can occur both during or before a situation that social anxiety or phobia sufferers find stressful or fear generating. Emotional symptoms. While engaged in activities that cause discomfort, social anxiety and social phobia sufferers are obsessively self-conscious and overly aware of their own words, thoughts, and actions. And they assume others are watching them and evaluating them with skept- skeptical, skeptical or hostile eye. If their performance in social situations or while out in public is anything less than impeccable, impe- they worry they'll be judged as weak and inferior, incompetent, unintelligent, or unworthy of respect. The more precarious and uncomfortable a situation seems, the more scared that they or they'll do or say something embarrassing or humiliating, something they'll never be able to live it down. 
None of this is reasonable or rational. Neither is its anticipation of negative reactions, nor is its assumption that being negatively judged by others is a tra <coughs> tragedy. During moments of clarity, social anxiety and phobia so sufferers realize this, and they often feel ashamed about the death of their fears and their tendency to expect the worst. But simply realizing their fears are irrational is not enough to make the emotional symptoms of social anxiety fade away. It takes time, effort, and usually long-term therapy to reprogram the brain to lessen the severity of these ingrained patterns of response. <clears throat> Behavior symptoms. Avoidance of threatening, intimidating, or unfamiliar situations is a primary behavior symptom of social anxiety and social phobia. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. People with social anxiety problems develop routines and patterns of behavior designed to minimize their exposure to situations that induce stress and tension. And in general, this strategy works well with anti-anxiety remedy. If y'all haven't hit the like, share, and subscribe, please do so. Thank you guys so much for being in here. It truly means a lot to me. But finding work, love, friendship, and purpose can be difficult, if not impossible, for men and women who allow their social fears to run their lives. The fear of interpersonal interactions that haunt people with social anxiety and the inhibitions about performance that keep social phobia sufferers from expanding their horizons are obstacles that must be overcome if happiness and success are to be achieved. Getting treatment for social anxiety disorder. For those who suffer from social anxiety disorder, the symptoms it encompasses can seem overwhelming, but treatment for social anxiety disorder has a proven track record of success against social anxiety and social phobia in whatever form they appear. Highly trained and experienced mental health professionals can accurately diagnose the presence of social anxiety disorder based on its physical, emotional, and behavior symptoms. Once such a diagnosis has been made, they will work with social anxiety and social phobia sufferers to design comprehensive treatment programs that address all existing mental health issues, including those connected to co-occurring disorders. Such a HEALY program will more likely be centered around individual and group psychotherapy with medication possibly prescribed as well. Life skills and social skills classes may also be offered to help patients learn how to cope with their anxiety symptoms as they expand to the depth of their knowledge about their disorder. In addition, holistic healing practices can further assist social anxiety sufferers who need help controlling their stress responses. While outpatient therapies are essential to the long-term recovery of social anxiety disorder sufferers, the most effective course of action is to begin treatment at a licensed mental health treatment facility that offers intensive inpatient services. By focusing completely on the healing process in the early stages of recovery in a supportive environment surrounded by others who understand the immense challenges posed by social anxiety. People with social anxiety disorder can dramatically boost their chances of ultimate success. It has now become standard practice to use the term social phobia and social anxi anxiety interchangeably. But there are some subtle dis differences between the two that should still be acknowledged. If treatment is to succeed, all of the symptoms of social phobia and social anxiety must be acknowledged and confronted in whatever form they manifest. Let's see. <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. I'm sorry. All right. I'm, I only got two more, guys. This is not going to be a massively long line. I just want to bring support and awareness to um, these topics. And, you know, if anybody needs any help, just know, you know, there there is help out there. You are not alone. I'm here to support each and every one of you guys. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a counselor or nothing like that. I just want to be a difference in people's life and support them, you know, because I go through 
my own mental health health. So I want to be able to be a difference in somebody's life, be a positive change in somebody's life and to bring support and awareness to these topics. So that's why we do these two days a week and then we do the karaoke the other two days a week. So this is seven things people who have social anxiety commonly do. It says six, they criticize their own social skills. Social anxiety disorder goes beyond being shy or introverted. It involves an extreme fear of social isol interact social interaction and it interferes with as in, in individuals' daily life. The symptoms usually begin around age 13 and persist into adulthood. But most people with social anxiety wait at least 10 years to get help, according to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America. Whether you think you may have social anxiety or suspect that someone you know might, here are some of the most common signs. They imagine embarrassing themselves, whether they're about to meet a new person or they're walking into a social gathering. People with social anxiety disorder envision horribly embarrassing scenarios. They worry that they'll say or do something or do the wrong thing, and they picture that behavior horrifying other people. Number two, they avoid situations in which they'll be judged. Social anxiety causes people to think things like other people will think I'm stupid or I'll mess up and everyone is going to think I'm a loser. Their extreme fear of rejection causes them to steer clear of uncertain social situations whenever possible. Number three, they only feel comfortable with a few specific people. Most people with social anxiety feel comfortable with a few specific individuals, such as a best friend, a parent, or a sibling. Interacting with other individuals can lead to a serious spike in anxiety. Often taking a safe person to the grocery store or a social gathering makes interactions a lot less scary. Number four, they worry that other people will notice their fear. Whether they speak up in a meeting or try to make small talk with an acquaintance, people with social anxiety worry that their anxiety is not noticeable. They tend to experience physical symptoms such as a flushed face, sweaty palms, trembling hands, or shortness of breath, and they're convinced that everyone else can tell when they're nervous. Number five, they experience spe specific social fears. For some people with social anxiety, the fear is contained to public speaking, but others experience extreme anxiety over things like riding in front of others or eating in public places. Many people with social anxiety fear talking on the phone as well. Number six, they criticize their own social skills. People with social anxiety spend a lot of time analyzing their social interactions. They replay conversations in their minds over and over and scrutinize their communication. They exaggerate their flaws and judge themselves harshly. Number seven, their thoughts often become self-fulfilling prophecies. The negative thoughts associated with social anxiety of often turn into self-fulfilling prophecies. Someone who thinks people always think I'm weird may stick to himself during social engagements. His aloofness may discourage others from talking to him, reinforcing his belief that he's socially awkward. How to get help. Social anxiety is a very treatable condition. Therapy, medication, or combination of the two can often alleviate the symptoms. If you think you might have social anxiety, talk to your doctor. A physician can rule out medical issues that could be contributing to the symptoms and can refer you to the appropriate psychological treatment if necessary. All right, guys, that's, then we have one more. All righty, this is from Very Well Mind, which I cover a lot when we're covering our topics. And like I said, after I get off here, I mean, after, well, you know, I just go over it maybe an hour, hour and 15 minutes, and then we just talk about it for a few minutes, and then we're out of here. So this is the last um, website that we're going to cover, and then we'll talk about it for a few minutes, and then we'll um, be out of here for the night. All right, this is Social Anxiety Disorder Guide from Very Well Mind, or this is part of the Social Anxiety Dis Disorder Guide. I apologize. 
living with social anxiety disorder. Oh my goodness, guys. Hold on. I hate these stinking ads. Give me just a minute. You're such a pain in my rear end. I'm so sorry, guys. It won't let me close it or anything. So just bear with me a minute. I wish I had one of them pop-up blocker doohickey things, but I don't. So just hold on just a second, guys. Nice commercial, though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Come on, hurry up. Oh my goodness gracious. Well, we'll watch this one too. Oh, hold on. Okay. <sighs> Meditate. Meditation brings short-term stress relief as well as something. Take a walk. Get a hug. A hug always makes you feel better, I think. Eating a balanced diet. Oh, I can't even talk. All right. Okay, let's see if it'll let me. Oh, my goodness, guys. Give me just a minute. Let me see if I can close this out. Hold on just a minute, guys. Give me, Bear with me, and I'll pull it back up on screen. These stinking ads. I'm so sorry. Hello, Hello. hippie grandma. Good to see you, honey. Oh my goodness. Lord have mercy. There it is. Okay. Sorry about that. There we go. Living with social anxiety disorder. Day-to-day -day strategies with coping or for coping with social anxiety. Arrive to meetings early so you can meet people one-on-one -on -one as they arrive. Avoid using alcohol to overcome in inhibitions. Stay up to date on current events so you can make small talk. Exercise regularly and eat healthy food to reduce your anxiety. Social anxiety disorder, SAD, can lead to intense feelings of anxiety and distress in social settings. Although this is disorder is treatable usually with medication and psychotherapy. It is estimated that only 35% of people with social anxiety ever receive treatment. That's awful. That's so sad. Why not, why not a substitute for professional treatment? For those who may otherwise receive no help, self-help is a good starting point. The self-help strategies for social anxiety disorder outlined below can be used at home to help overcome its symptoms. So this is good, useful information. If somebody don't have insurance or they're afraid to go to the doctor, this might be able to help them in the long run. Improving social skills to reduce anxiety. A good first step to coping with social anxiety disorder is to identify social skills that could use a bit of work. Improving these skills may help individuals better cope with the thoughts and emotions that come with social anxiety. What in the world? Sorry, guys. Assertiveness skills. Many people with social anxiety disorder lack assertiveness. Thus, they can benefit from learning to become more assertive. One way to do this is by communicating their needs in a calm and relaxed way that also respects the needs of others. Usually this takes the form of I statements, such as I feel hurt when you don't respond to my phone calls. 
Learning to say no is also an important part of being assertive and a skill that can benefit people with social anxiety. Nonverbal communication skills. Improving nonverbal communication skills is another area in which a person can employ self-help strategies if they live with social anxiety. This can help them to feel more confident in social interactions. For example, most people with social anxiety tend to adopt a closed-off stance. They may even have this stance without realizing it. Learning how to have a relaxed posture, example, hands at the sides, good eye contact, encourages others to respond positively, also making a person appear more approachable. Verbal communication skills. In addition to adopting a relaxed body posture, learning how to communicate verbally is also important. Knowing how to start conversations, keep them going, and listen attentively are helpful social anxiety coping skills. As an example, one quick tip for joining a group of people in conversation is to listen first and then make a comment about what they're already talking about. For example, are you talking about the election results? I couldn't believe them either. Look for as many opportunities as possible to develop stronger verbal abilities. Being a good listener. Asking open-ended questions and sharing personal stories can help others get to know us better. How to cope with social anxiety and emotions. Fear and anxiety are two of the most common emotions with social anxiety disorder. A few simple strategies can help ease them both. Talk with others. Talk about social anxiety with a trusted family member or friend gives the other person the opportunity to provide some much needed support. To share these feelings with someone specific, send them a text or online message with the request to meet. Then arrange a time at a quiet place to talk. If it feels nerve wracking to open up, it can help to write down some of the main points to discuss. Sharing the impact of social anxiety symptoms with others can help them gain a better idea of this condition's, of this condition's effects. <clears throat> Remember that not everyone will know the ins and outs of social anxiety disorder. Some people may need help to understand what it is and how it can impact a person's life. Practice deep breathing. Having social anxiety generally involves strong emotional reactions in social situations. One way to reduce these anxious reactions is to put the body in a relaxed state. When the body is relaxed, breathing is slow and natural, and the mind is free of negative thoughts, making it easier to enjoy being with others. It can be easy to breathe too quickly in anxiety-provoking situations, which in turn makes other anxiety symptoms worse. Below are some steps to manage anxious and shallow, shallow breathing through a deep breathing exercise. How to practice deep breathing. Number one, count the number of breaths taken in one minute. Count and inhale and, and, and exhale out with one. Make a note of this number. The average person will take 10 to 12 breaths per minute. Number two, focus on the act of breathing. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth. Take deep breaths from the diaphragm instead of shallow breaths from the chest. Inhale for three seconds and exhale for three seconds. Use a watch or clock with a second hand. While exhaling, think relax and release tension in the muscles. Continue breathing this way for about five minutes. Number three, count breaths per minute again and see if the number has gone down. Number four, practice this breathing technique a few times per day when already relaxed. It may help to start practicing upon first waking up and before going to sleep. When in social situations, breathe, breathe as practiced. In time, this way of breathing may become more automatic. Reduce negative thoughts. When living with social anxiety, it's impossible to misinterpret comments or facial expressions made by others. This can contribute to the emotional reactions experienced. Two thought patterns that often contribute to anxiety are 
mind, re mind reading, assuming that we know what other people are thinking about us. Example, everyone can see how anxious I am. Personalizing, assuming that the behaviors of others are related to us. Example, he looks bored. I shouldn't have invited him over to this movie. These thoughts can be so automatic that we don't even realize we are thinking them. Below are some steps to better manage negative thought patterns with social anxiety. How to reduce negative thoughts. Number one, think of recent social situation that caused feelings of anxiousness. Write down any negative thoughts that occurred before, during, or after the situation. Number two, ask questions to challenge these negative thoughts. For example, if the negative automatic thought was people are yawning, they must think I'm boring. Ask whether they could be a different explanation. In this case, the alternative thought could be it probably had nothing to do with me. They were just tired. Number three, try to notice automatic negative thoughts experienced before, during, and after feared social situations and challenge them with alternatives. Face the fear. Avoiding feared situations may reduce emotional reactions in the short term, but in the long term, it severely limits one's life. In addition, the number of situations feared grows as the fear becomes more general. Hello, Seth. Good to see you, my brother. Hope you're doing well. Make sure you smash that like. Share and subscribe if you haven't done so. On the other hand, gradual exposures to social situations coupled, coupled, sorry, coupled with relaxation techniques help to reduce anxiety and emotional reactions associated with these situations. There are ways to overcome avoidance to start identify the top 10 situations avoided. For each situation on the list, break it down into a series of steps, increasing in difficulty. For example, for a person who's afraid of being the center of attention, their steps might look like this. Tell a funny story about myself to a group of people that me know well. Tell a funny story about myself to a group of people that I don't know well. Voice my true opinion to a group of friends. Voice my true opinion to a group of strangers. Make a toast at dinner with people whom I know well. Make a toast at dinner with people who I don't know well. Practice each step as much as needed before moving on to the next. If anxiety surfaces, challenge the negative thoughts and use the slow breathing technique to relax. Note the list created will depend on a person's individual fears. For example, someone might feel more afraid of speaking in front of people they know versus a crowd of strangers. In this case, they would reverse items on the list. Day-to-day -day social anxiety coping strategies. Below are some social anxiety coping skills that can be used on a day-to-day -day basis, such as while at work or attending school. Talk with a supervisor or teacher so they can make certain accommodations or provide additional support. Make a list of questions to ask and start with the least anxiety-provoking ones. Hello, the Kiki and Lily show. So good to see you, love. Thank you for coming in here, honey. Arrive to meetings early to meet people one by one as they arrive. Keep up on current events, making it easier to participate in small talk. Avoid using alcohol to overcome in inhibitions. Do things that are not so much passion that despite the anxiety they create, they still seem worth it. Make new friends by greeting people, giving compliments, and starting brief conversations. Get regular exercise, eat healthy food, and avoid caffeine and sugar to naturally reduce anxiety. <clears throat> mistakes to avoid with social anxiety disorder. There are a number of common mistakes that people make when trying to overcome social anxiety through self-help strategies. Avoiding these mistakes can keep from making things worse. Don't try to eliminate the anxiety completely. If anxiety is seen as something awful that needs to be eliminated, more focus is placed on it, making it harder to reduce. Don't focus on being perfect. Instead, focus on accepting worst case scenarios and then work backward from there. Don't accept social anxiety as a personality trait. Social anxiety disorder is a mental health issue and not a personality trait, such as being shy or introverted. It is possible to overcome social anxiety and live a fulfilling 
life. While there is some evidence that CBD, a component of Mary Jane or marijuana, may be helpful for social anxiety, there are also risks associated, associated with CBD use that must be considered before choosing this as a coping strategy. When to seek professional help for social anxiety. Over time, practice some relaxation, challenging negative thoughts, or and facing fear situations can help it make it easier to manage anxiety and stressful situations. However, people facing severe anxiety on a daily basis should cons consult their medical care provider or a mental health professional as treatment may be advised. Don't wait too long to seek help from a professional. While it can be tempting to think that we can solve this all on our own, people often need therapy or medication to successfully manage social anxiety. All right, guys. So let me know what you guys thought of the information that we went over. Is that, you know, pretty good information, guys? Or what do y'all, what, what, what are y'all's thoughts on the information that I went over. If there's anybody in here. Is there anybody there? Well, guys, I'm getting ready to get off here. Like I said, you know, they're not really long. I just want to bring your support and awareness to, you know, these topics that I'm covering. You know, it's very, it's very important to talk about it. You don't hear a lot of people talking about these, these, you know, disorders or mental health. And I definitely want to bring awareness and support and let people know that they're not alone in this world, that we're here to, to support them. And be there for them and lift them up. Hello, Red Eye Patriot. So good to see you, honey. I hope you're doing well. Miss seeing you uh, last Saturday on the daytime karaoke. Which we're going to be doing like once or twice a month. So, but, uh, you know, I just think, I mean, I myself, um, I guess I suffer with a little bit of social anxiety. Because I do not, I can't deal with large crowds. Uh, you know, if I... Like, I'm a people person, but if I feel uncomfortable around you, then I'm going to be really quiet. Really quiet. But, you know, I normally am talkative to everybody, but it's just sometimes, um, you know, sometimes you have your moments. Oh, you're fine, Red Eye Patriot. I was just saying that I did do it um, last Saturday during the day. Now we'll go. We're going to go back to the regular karaoke this weekend at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern, Friday and Saturday. Yes, I want. I can't wait to hear you um, play Red Eye. I would love to hear it. But yeah, I'm getting ready to jump off here. Like I said, you know, I don't. I don't make them massively long just to cover the topics and. You know, motivate people to get help if they need it or let people know that they're supported over here and, you know, encourage people that it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to have, you know, <coughs> excuse me, mental issues or disorders or sicknesses or whatever. It's okay. Just please, please know that your life is important and you matter and that there is support out there. It's very important because unfortunately some people unalive themselves and it's, it, and it's just so sad when things could have been easily, I mean, not easily per se, but things could have been different if they would just ask for support or help or, you know, something to that effect. So I think the more awareness that we're bringing to these topics, you know, I'm hope, hopefully, we're being a difference in people's lives with y'all's help. I can't do this without each and every one of you guys. So much love and respect to y'all. Um, but, you know, just be a difference in somebody's life and help somebody along the way. You know, that's that's all it is. It's, it's not that hard to do. But just, you know, lift people up and let them know, hey, 
You know, the, the words that, that you say to people, they will always remember, especially if it was something that lifted their spirits. They won't, and it don't matter if they ain't seen you in 20 years, they will always remember what you said. So, you know, without, um, now I think, let me see. I don't want to tell you guys wrong, okay? Give me just a minute. <coughs> Absolutely, heads up, chest up, forever moving forward, because God gives his hardest battles to his strongest warriors. Absolutely, Red Eye. Thank you so much. Let me get, let me see if Rebel's got a live setup for tomorrow or not. Give me just a minute, guys. Uh... Give me just a minute. Let's see. Yes, he has a live set up for tomorrow night, which me and him will be going together <clears throat> at 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, he's doing the not bought one on one. So if anybody wants to learn about not bought and how you do things, if you have a channel or if you want to help somebody with an, a, you know, with their channel or whatever, um, it's learning how to do not bought one on one. And I will be there in there with him because tomorrow night is Thursday. So we about 99% of the time go live together. So, um, just don't forget about rebel. If y'all haven't subbed up to him, Please do so. Let me grab his um, link for you guys. And also, Watch Hush Family is um... Oh, you're fine, Juju. It's okay, honey. Yes, we'll miss you too, girl. Um, but yeah, that's Rebels um, channel that I just dropped in the, sh in the um, chat. If y'all would like, if y'all haven't subbed up, please go do so. And then let me get the um, White Trash Family, which is our, our family's, um, you know, music channel. We play music on the weekends. We do requests on Fridays. And then we spin a wheel and decide who we're going to be playing songs for on Saturdays for the concert. So if y'all haven't done, you know, subbed up, please do so. The concert consists of whatever the band or whatever the group or band that the wheel spins on it's an automatic wheel is who we will play the songs of for for the following week so this saturday is we're going to be playing songs from acdc now this friday is the bonfire so you can pick whatever song you would like and send it into um you know white trash family's email and we will play it and dance with it and everything have a wonderful night, Miss Teresa. So good to see you, love. I hope you're doing well, honey. But yes, I'm getting ready to jump off here. So I always say this before I go. You never know what people are going through. You don't know what they're currently going through. You don't know what they've been through in their life. Be kind to one another. Please, it doesn't cost a penny, not one single cent to be kind to somebody. You know, and don't be no better than anybody else because nobody's better than nobody. You know, and only God can judge us. But be a difference in somebody's life. Be a better person than you was yesterday. Or today. Whichever time's on your end. And, you know, be careful with your words. Because they might be easily forgiven. But not forgotten once they're said. And I want to thank you guys so much for coming in here. I know these topics. And we don't get a lot of um, people coming in here. which I, But I appreciate you guys so much for coming in here. If you are watching the replay, please leave me a like, share, and subscribe, and comment, and I, I reply to every one of the comments, so please leave me a comment if you're watching the replay. Make sure you smash that like and hit the subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow night on Rebels. Uh, you know, I love each and every one of you guys. I cannot do this without each and every one of you guys, so much appreciate, much, much appreciated from my heart, um, all our fam in here, so I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful night. Please don't go to bed with hate in your heart. You know, you never know, guys. You never know. So y'all have a wonderful night, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Rebels. I think he's got it set up at 9 p.m. Eastern, 
And then Friday is our music day. The Watchers family at 6.30 p.m. Eastern. And then over here at 10 p.m. Eastern is the karaoke. So y'all have a wonderful night. And much love to y'all. And I will see you guys tomorrow on Rebels. And then the next day um, on here for karaoke and Watch Trash Family. So I love you guys. Y'all have a wonderful night. And I will see you guys very soon. See y'all. Love y'all.